Just before moving on board, we encountered a rather big problem. We had lost steering power in the starboard side. The rudder and the propeller was fine and the motor was working, so it had to be a problem with the transmission. You can still sail the boat with only one engine, but maneuvering in a harbor isn't too much fun, so we had a little help. Unfortunately, disassembling the transmission meant that we had to take Moana out of the water. And just as predicted, a few parts in the transmission needed to be replaced. But at least we had a cool place to park the car while she was on land. And then winter hit us. First with a lot of stormy weather and then followed up by an early blizzard. This evening they forecasted hurricane conditions. We probably should have taken down the cockpit tent, but it survived, and Moana actually pulled through without any scratches. Not everyone was that lucky. And then the snow came, and lots of it. As the cold weather seemed to stay, we decided it was time to wrap up Moana in insulation mats to keep a decent temperature inside. A part of our plan is to have people come join our adventure. We never intended to sail by ourselves. We want someone to share all the awesome experiences with and someone to help split chores and costs. Throughout the four years of preparation, we have accumulated quite a bunch of adventurous people. And now it was finally time to meet them. We asked everyone to fill in a form and to show up for an info meeting where they could see the boat and we could meet face to face. For a trip like this, it is extremely important to have matching expectations. So we tried our very best to be as thorough as possible. We have had more than 200 requests and met over a hundred people. Ja. Og så skal den gå op her. Ja. Og så skal vi til det her bræt af. Lige præcis. Du kan også sætte det fast dernede, hvis det er nemmere. Altså det, det er fuldstændig op til dig, hvordan du gør det. Hvis du laver det her, så er det vist rart at sidde, hvis du sidder her. Ja. Before leaving Denmark, we have a pretty long to-do list. 
including a whole lot of boat projects. Luckily, we know some competent people who can help us out. Meet Kenneth, our dear old friend and electrician. He's helping us go through all of the wiring on the boat and installing all our new gear. Unfortunately, the working environment can be a little tricky on a boat, but Kenneth didn't complain, and we made sure to feed him some sushi afterwards. Up next, we buy a beast of a dinghy, and Michael starts his yak education. <laughs> 